Good morning, everyone. Welcoming you all to our Sunday CME. Today we have Dr. Tamar Mustafa Abdul Hamad Shalabi, specialist in internal medicine, who is speaking on the topic irritable bowel syndrome. Going back to doctor's academic background, doctor did the MBBCH from Tanta University, Egypt, and MD in internal medicine from the same university. Before coming here, doctor has worked at various hospitals in GCC, like United Doctors Hospital, Jeddah, Ameri Engahra Hospital, Kuwait, Al Salama Hospital, Abu Dhabi, and SKMC Abu Dhabi. In Egypt also, doctor has worked in Ministry of Health and has an experience of working research in stem cell transplantation in liver diseases. Welcome you, doctor, for presenting the CME. Thank you. Good morning for everybody. I'm very happy to share uh, my colleague uh, today uh, for introducing that uh, a small lecture about irritable bowel syndrome. Let me start. This is my town, Tanta, from Egypt. Now today we have some objective about irritable bowel syndrome. We describe the prevalence of uh, irritable bowel syndrome, various causes of uh, IBS, how to make diagnosis of IBS, how to manage cases of IBS, and all risk of IBS complication. When we definition the IBS, IBS is defined as abdominal pain or discomfort that occur in association with altered bowel habit over a period of at least three months. Irritable bowel syndrome is a functional gastrointestinal disorder characterized by abdominal pain and altered bowel habit in the absence of a specific of unique organ pathology. Although microscopic inflammation sometimes recommended in some patients. Population based studies estimated the prevalence of irritable bowel syndrome about 10 to 20 percent, and incidence is about 1 to 2 percent per year. Only a small number of people with IBS have severe signs of symptoms, and some people can control their symptoms and manage diet, lifestyle, stress, and severe symptoms can be treated with medication. IBS can make a change of the bowel tissue and increase the risk of colon rectal cancer. When we see the pathophysiology of the IBS consisted of three part complex of altered gastrointestinal motility, visceral, hyper, algesia, and psychopathology. More recently, it is believed that component of the gut microbiota uh, potentially influence brain morphology and function behavior congestion effectively the gut brain axis. Microscopic inflammation has been documented in some patients. Here we see the normal colon and the spastic colon. Etiology of IBS poorly understood but ongoing research. Abnormal transient profile and enhanced uh, perception of normal motility, enteric infection, neurohumoral mechanism, intestinal permeability, intestinal microbiome, dietary intolerance. So, what is the IBS? We uh, put the definition before the current abdominal pain associated with the defecation or a change in the bowel habit patient should have symptoms of abdominal pain at least one day per week during the last three months. So symptoms disorder bowel habits like constipation or diarrhea or both makes it type. Abdominal bloating of course there is a distension and prevalence we speak about prevalence but more in women that women show a greater prevalence than men and younger people uh, more than 
order B order. It's a common disorder that affects the large intestine, more common in female. Estrogen therapy before and after menopause is a risk factor of, fiber, of IBS. The family history of IBS gene may play a role. Probably the most challenge of all functional GIT disorder and anxiety affect this depression and mental health play an important role. More frequently, we say before uh, 50 years old and decline in the 6 and 7 decade. Patients with IBS consume 50% more health care resources than those without it. Long term disease. Here, the maximum site of the IBS it will be the left lower quadrant of the colon. Abdominal pain, if there is abdominal pain, excess gases, diarrhea or constipation, sometimes mucus in the stool. <coughs> Impact of IBS on the productivity and work abstinence. There is a, a large number of people have a higher work abstinence, high presentation at work, and greater loss of work productivity as this graph. Here is the effect of IBS on the productivity of the person and mentality. Here we put that genetic factors and psychological factors, physiology, its uh, result is IBS symptoms, experience, behavior, and outcome need a medication and medical visits daily function. Symptoms. Some symptoms of IBS is like weight loss, but not more than 5 kg, abdominal distension, diarrhea at night, alternating bowel habits, sometimes rectal bleeding, urge to move bowel again immediately, following a bowel movement, mucus in the stool sometimes, persistent pain that is not relieved by passing gas or bowel movement. Here we will see the additional symptoms consistent with the radical bowel syndrome uh, like follow, clear or white mucoria of uh, non-inflammatory etiology, dyspepsia, heartburn, nausea, vomiting, sexual dysfunction including uh, dyspronia and poor libido, urinary frequency and urgency have been noted, worsening of symptoms in the pre period, comorbid fibromyalgia, and stress-related symptoms. <coughs> Abdominal pain in IBS is a protein, but may be the following characters. So, pain is frequently is diffused without radiation, common side uh, we said before that left lower quadrant and means may sometimes persist the pain. Defecation commonly improve the pain but may not fully uh, relieve it. Uh, the main complaint of the patient, he came to you and said, I feel that this I'm not completely evacuated. I feel that this still I need to go through. Pain from resume gas pocket in the splenic flexure may miscarriage as anterior chest pain and sometimes pain is came for your presentation with chest pain. Altered bowel habit in the IBS may have the following character. Constipation, variability, result in combination of hard stool of a narrow caliber, painful or infrequent defecation and intractability uh, to laxative. Diarrhea usually is described as a small volume of loose stool with evacuation preceded by urgency or frequent defecation. Sometimes it came after intake of food direct. Patient need to go washroom. Post brandial urgency. Characteristic one features 
Generally, you predominate in a single patient, but significant variability exists among the patients. Sometimes patient is coming always with a constipation, sometimes with the diarrhea, sometimes with altered bowel habit, constipation with diarrhea. Symptoms not consistent with IBS should alter the clinical to the possibility of an organic pathology that some symptoms is uh, uh, not coming with IBS if the onset in the middle age or older, if the symptoms is acute, IBS is defined as chronicity, progressive symptoms, uh, nocturnal symptoms, and sometimes anorexia or weight loss. That weight loss is more than 10 kilograms is not IBS. Fever, rectal bleeding, painless diarrhea, and staturia, angulating intolerance, you must think about something else, not IBS. Three types of IBS we mentioned before, constipation, predominant diarrhea, predominant alternating constipation and diarrhea. Constipation is coming with cramping, aching, and commonly triggered by eating and the bir uh, in, in the area the person tended to experience the area first thing in the morning or after eating need to go to all the typically action four power pattern of ibs according to room five classification constipation the area mix it and the fourth classification now is unclassified the usefulness of these subtypes is data, uh, the, uh, debate, uh, notably within one year, 75 of the patients change subtypes and 29% switch between constipation predominant and diarrhea. Okay, so the patient is can, uh, predominant with uh, one symptoms and after some years it is changed. IBS constipation is Food here is moved too slowly uh, through the bowel. This causes tools that is hard to pass. And in uh, IBS with diarrhea, the food is moved too quickly through the bowel and cause watery stool. Sometimes some kind of food is play an important role in uh, triggers of the IBS. So the dietary factor play a significant role in IBS. Symptoms are likely to worsen after consumption of dairy product, chocolate, alcohol, thereby causing uh, either constipation of the rare beside some fruits. Vegetables can cause bloating of the stomach and pain is not uh, yet clear whether a food allergy or intolerance triggered IBS. So some kind of food uh, also is this debate. Onion, Brussels and sprouts, carrots, prunes, beans, uh, kelly, uh, celery and banana, brittles, bandage. And to be honest, it is different between the people, okay? So there is no definite food can make IBS for all people. Sometimes some food is making, sometimes the patient is claiming that I, I like that food and only my gut is uh, normal with that food. So, but there is a common food can be triggers of the IBS. A spicy food, some more acid food, and the onion, garlic, uh, uh, raw, uh, this is very common. Other food and, and the, uh, more fat food. Other food can contribute to IBS developed or dairy product, can, um, uh, candies and chocolate, sugar free cup. Caffeine based product, possibly due to caffeine, sugar, or sorbitol intolerance. Individuals can take the following dairy steps to reduce the risk of a flare. Increasing the intake of fiber in diet. Individuals with IBS need to consume food products with more fiber content. 
while others should reduce their consumption, there is a debate about this also. Maintaining a food diary, people should keep a low of specific food and their physical effect on the person. There is some kind of food, uh, so the physician need to tell the patient about some kind of food you must avoid, some kind of food uh, you encourage to take. Diagnosis. Before doing any test, you must gain confidence of the patient at the first consultation. Let them talk and just listen. Remain aware that some IBS patients have a hidden agenda. Don't say to the patient, when, uh, like some physician, I don't know what is the wrong with you. And don't say with some specialists, say there is nothing wrong with you, only in your head, in your brain. Before doing any test, get the test report from the other uh, medical files and show and discuss those with the result of the patient. In those below 55 years old, the absence of, uh, and the absence of alert uh, symptoms, the uh, test done is ESR and C-active routine if normal. So the diagnosis of IBS in these cases at 83% sensitivity, 97% specified, and 100 predictive value. Very predictive value. Here, there is a pistol stool chart according to the subtypes also, and according to that, we make classification as IBS is uh, con with constipation or IBS with diarrhea or mixed. Here's the character of the stool like this, even watery, even small part like this. This is the main guide of the IBS room for classification. According to room 4 diagnostic criteria of IBS, the official room uh, uh, 4 criteria used in patients with symptoms suggestive of irritable bowel syndrome such as a chronic and recurrent abdominal pain and or altered bowel habit for at least, we say, 3 months and now 6 months. Patient with any of the following features must be evaluated uh, for other diagnosis. So, if the sign and symptom of gastrointestinal bleeding, unexplained iron deficiency anemia, unintentional weight loss more than 10 kg, palpable abdominal mass or low fetinopathy on exam, family history of cancer, colon, and uh, not had H upshed uh, colon cancer screening. Honest of symptoms more than 50 years and had age uh, not, not going with the uh, cancer pool in the family, sudden or acute onset of new change in the bowel habit. So we must think about anything other than IBS. But in IBS, we must have two of the following associated with the recurrent abdominal pain more than one day per week for the last three months related to defecation either increasing or improving pain associated with the change in the stool frequency associated with the change in the stool form. So next step, if that meets diagnosis, so that is we thinking about positive IPS, likely diagnosis of IPS, consider a written uh, initiating treatment. The management of irritable bowel syndrome is typically based on the most but there are some symptoms, predominant bowel habit pattern and severity of the symptom. Treatment it is different, dietary modification, uh, peppermint oil, soluble fiber, some kind of the medical treatment, it is different from IBS constipation and IBS diarrhea. Uh, now refluxamine is used widely in uh, IBS with the diarrhea. 
and neuromodulators that drive cyclic antidepressant, uh, serotonin, and non uh, epinephrine, and uh, psychological therapies and choice of services outside the scope of the calculator and will depend on the clinical context. So it depends on your experience. No fixed medicine for IBS. Clinical studies to rule out disorder other than IBS, including the following. Complete blood count you must do with the differential to screen for anemia, inflammation, or infection. Comprehensive metabolic panel to uh, evaluate for a metabolic disorder and to rule out uh, dehydration, electrolytes, abnormality, stool, examination for avoid the uh, uh, bar uh, parasites, enteric pathogens, and leukocytes, cholesterol, DVC, toxin, possibility of guardian uh, antigen. History specified studies including the following hydrogen bracing test to exclude the bacterial overgrowth in the patient with diarrhea and to screen for lactose and uh, fructose intolerance. Tissue transplatinase uh, antigen, IgATTG testing, and small bowel biopsy. Serum calcium testing to screen for the hyperparathyroidism and thyroid function test. ESR and C-reactive protein. So you must do that test to search about other orders, other disorders other than IBS. We mentioned the complete blood count for all IBS subtypes and the cancer pollen screening must be search IBS with the real C-reactive protein and IgA TTG. When colonoscopy is performed, obtain random biopsies and that uh, test selenium homoclonal acid 3. That is, detect the bile acid absorption in the colon uh, to detect the uh, absorption of the food and is coming with IBS of the uh, diarrhea type. IBS with constipation if severely or medically. Refractory refer to GIT specific specialist, and sometimes they need to do colonoscopy. IBS makes it reactive protein. Other tests, stool biopsy, considered the radiograph to evaluate the stool accumulation. Here we mention the increase of bile acid sensitive in IBS with diarrhea. Differential diagnosis of IBS, dietary and as a lactulose internal sorbitol, caffeine, alcohol, fat, gas producing food, infection like Giardia, amoeba, and bacterial overgrowth, inflammatory bowel disease like ulcerative colitis, Crohn's, microscopic colitis, malabsorption syndrome like celiac disease, past surgical pancreatic insufficiency. Uh, and psychological depression and anxiety, uh, others like endometritis in different tumors. So we must think about this thing also. When other conditions should be considered, your, what is the other condition should be considered during the evaluation of patient with a possible IBS? If diarrhea is predominant, we must think about Crohn's and colitis and infection, cholesterol difficile infection, small bowel bacterial overgrowth, celiac disease, lactose intolerance, high and neuroendocrine tumor. If constipation is predominant, we must think about stricture, cancer, inflammatory bowel, diverticulitis, ischemia, and colonic interior, pelvic, pelvic floor uh, dysfunction, and neurological disease medication high hypothyroidism in pain predominant symptoms so aerophagia bloating intermittent bowel small bowel obstruction acute intermittent ischemia 
chronic pancreatitis lymphoma of GIT tract endometriosis. So according to the diarrhea predominant constipation, we must see a differential diagnosis. The red flag alarm about symptoms of IBS. If the honest after 55 years old, persistent anorexia and weight loss is more than 10 kg, persistent fever in the evening, pain, changing pattern, or increasing after food and persisting for a few hours, awakening by pain or diarrhea at night, rectal bleeding, not just weeping, stool like malabsorption syndrome, palpable mass in the abdomen. So, this is some of red flag. IBS remain a clinical diagnosis. This is our diagnostic summary. And according to the patient below 55 years old and absence of the alarm symptoms, according to room 2 criteria, sensitivity is 65% specificity, uh, specificity uh, more, uh, 100 and uh, positive predictive value is 100. So if you are query, query the diagnosis of IPS and there is a patient below 55 years old and there is no alarm symptoms, so if the symptom is there, you must go with uh, positive predictive value 100. Treatment strategy for the IBS. This is involving a mix of drug, diet, psychological intervention. According to the mild or moderate or severe case, we uh, make like uh, start with diet lifestyle strategy and explain and reassurance and OTC therapies. This is in a mild case. In the moderate case, we will manage stress and other triggers and we can start pharma, uh, pharmacotherapy. And in severe case, specialized referral okay, for GIT psychological treatment and complementary and alternative therapy. So IBS treatment, you must explain of the condition and provide reassurance, reassurance as a being natural history of IBS therapeutic option for IBS based on the predominant symptoms. Treatment is based on the symptom type and severity and include lifestyle modification, dietary modification and fiber supplementation, protein restriction, then peripheral acting agent, psychological behavior service. Dietary and lifestyle consideration Eliminate alcohol and caffeine, limit fructose and artificial sweet, sweets, uh, low uh, food map diet, avoid specific triggers food, identify alternative uh, to trigger medication, increase dietary uh, fibers in uh, soluble uh, versus soluble, pain may be worse symptoms, and have regular and hurried meal time of toilet and exercise. This can be helped to uh, improve the IBS. Now there is the A, E, C, D, abdominal pain, bloating, constipation, diarrhea. Abdominal pain or discomfort, there is an antispasmodic can help in that case tricyclic analgesia and in bloating, distension, dietary modification, antispasmodic, antifluten, and digestive enzymes, antibiotic, constipation or diarrhea uh, of IBS, fibers, laxative, imodium. This is uh, another classification, how to put the target according to the symptoms of abdominal pain like this, bloating, Alter for health. So, as example, in diarrhea, lobromide is uh, uh, most commonly used uh, for constipation, fiber, osmotic agent, uh, hydroxy uh, 
uh, agonist and smooth muscle relaxant is there, smooth muscle relaxant and flattened. Aim of current treatment is some, uh, symptomatic relief of the most troublesome symptom. One of the persistent challenges of the physician diagnostic and treating IBS has been choosing a cheap treatment. Drug therapy must be aimed at relieving the patient dominant symptom. If the predominant symptom is abdominal pain, the option of the smooth muscle relaxant, we mentioned hydroxydepredamine, agonist and antagonist, and finally tricyclic antidepressant. If bloating, muscles, uh, smooth muscle relaxant, and uh, uh, anti flatulent may be considered. Uh, if constipation, we mentioned that before, in the area, labramide is effective. Here we mentioned some medicine, uh, how to slow the colonic transient like this, faster gastric embedding or on uh, the constipation uh, type. On the serone, grand hysterone, uh, in the uh, sometimes of the uh, IBS, to slow the small bowel transient like this. Somatrectin now is used also to enhance the gastric accommodation, slower gastric emptying and stimulation of the anti interdigestive phase. So you must choose the medicine according to the type of complaint. What treatment is available? Pharmacological management should be uh, according to subtypes. We mentioned that before. So, pharmacological therapy, if we see that is the most widely uh, uh, used medicine now, uh, in the market, uh, we have uh, some types of medicine. So the most used now is uh, Leprax, uh, Clinton, that plus chlorodioxide. It is uh, Leprax. It is widely used now. This is used also in a uh, different type of IBS, and especially with the IBS uh, with diarrhea. Mibaparin is widely used also as an antispasmodic and the binaparin. Tricyclic antidepressant, we mentioned before, and serotonin reuptake inhibitors, sometimes used. Probiotic also can be used. Drugs for IBS and constipation, laxative is used and Serotonin agonist. Also, antibiotic can be used, especially in IBS with diarrhea, and uh, rivaxamine now is widely used and give a good result nowadays. So, we were looking about uh, mebavarine and how the mebavarine act on the IBS. Mebavarine is have a dual mode of action as antispasmodic effect. Acetylcholine stimulates the masculinic receptors on the muscle and cell surface, allowing uh, uh, sodium to flow into the cell. And there is a depolarization opening of the nearby calcium channels. So this is the mevaparine action and accumulate of the calcium make like muscle contraction block sodium channels, no depolarization, no calcium accumulate, so the muscle relaxation is coming.
the dual action of the mevaverine hypotonic release of the calcium from reservoir opening of the potassium channel the flow potassium outside the cell Mevaverine avoid extreme muscle relaxation or hypotony stimulated by the noradrenaline. Mevaverine prevent a replacement of the calcium reservoir stop and potassium flow avoid hypotony. So there is a dual mode of action, relax smooth muscles in the gastrointestinal tract and relieve the spas without exerting a significant effect of the normal intestinal resources. A smooth muscle soon fully relaxed, fully contracted, hypotony, spas range with mevaverine. Doesn't cause hypotony, reduce the spas. Uh, the advantage is a complete and quicker after oral administration, excretion complete and metabolize into the urine. So there is a widely uh, used types of the mevaverine is uh, 135 and 200 a sustained release. Mevaverine versus deuterium uh, bromide, mevaverine 175 TID versus deuterium 20 milligram, 20 milligram uh, uh, TID mevaverine had a better long term efficacy, none of the mevaverine but uh, uh, 65 of the adrenaline patient has anticholinergic side effect. Alternative complementary approach like herbal mind body service relaxation technique, diet, lifestyle, and probiotic. So, summary grades of evidence IV is defined as abdominal discomfort plus altered bowel habits. IV is significantly decreased the quality of life for most of the patients seeking about medical care treatment. In the indicated when patient physician believes that uh, IBS is there, IBS therapies could, should improve global symptoms, including discomfort, bloating, and altered bowel habit. IBS is a chronic disease, B condition, a benign condition without benign effect. We should keep on open mind while managing IBS. Okay, we finish. Thank you, Doctor, for the presentation. The topic is now open for discussion. From the audience, if any questions, you are free to ask. Now we have some questions for the audience. There is a uh, four questions there. Excuse me, how can I open the question? <laughs> Doctor, actually, how often you, do you see this IBS in kids? Is it common in uh, children also, IBS? Yes, IBS is uh, defined as age is younger age children. It is start like this. In comparison okay. to the other diagnosis, it's coming in the older age. So IBS is very common in the children. 
and same we treatment can... protocol as adults or any difference so we can start with a lifestyle modification especially for children avoid some food like this and uh, regular diet and uh, give a good time for toilet and then start with the mevaline it is a wide mm -hmm. used now and it's very safe like this 135 is enough for children and okay. this but also we can use it. thank you doctor any questions from the audience stress also play an important role in ibs uh, during the examination like this mm. the ibs is a big very clear yes doctor. so if no more questions we can conclude the session the post test and evaluation are posted in the chat box and hs whatsapp group please fill up the post test and evaluation before concluding the session and thank you dr tamar once again for the presentation and thank you, Mr. Thank, you. And thank you for all audience i'm happy to be here and with my colleague to introduce the lecture thank you Thank